Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you like our content, please press like button, it really help us. And if you need video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. In today's video, I will give the answers of top 21 control valve questions. So, please watch this video till the end. Now, let's go to first question. First of all, let's start with one basic question which is, what is a control valve? A control valve is a mechanical device, which is used to regulate the flow of fluids in a process system, by varying the valve's position. And the amount of fluid that passes through the valve can be adjusted to control the system's output. Second question is, how does a control valve work? A control valve works by controlling the flow of fluid through an orifice or opening. It typically consists of a three main components. Valve body, actuator, and positioner. In a control valve, the positioner receives a signal from a controller, which adjusts the actuator to change the position of the valve's closure member, thereby controlling the flow of fluid. Third question is, what are the different types of control valves? The commonly used control valves can be divided in two parts. First one is depending on action, and other is depending on body. Depending on action, there are two types of control valves. One is air to open, and other is air to close. Depending on the body, there are four types of control valve. First is, globe valves single or double seated. Second is, angle valves. Third is, butterfly valves. Fourth is, three-way valves. Fourth question is, what is the CV of valve? CV is is the capacity of a valve, and it is defined as number of gallons per minute of water which passes through a fully open valve at a pressure drop of 1 pound per square inch. And this is the equation of CV. In this equation, CV is valve coefficient. Q is the volumetric flow rate. Delta P is the pressure drop across the valve in psi. And G is the specific gravity of flowing fluid. Fifth question is, what is a positioner? A positioner is a device that receives a signal from a controller and adjusts the position of the valve's closure member to achieve the desired flow rate. There are three different types of positioner. First type is pneumatic positioner. Second type is electric positioner. And third type is digital positioner. Sixth question is, what is a digital positioner? A digital positioner is a type of positioner that uses digital signals to control the valve's position. Digital positioner offers higher accuracy and better repeatability than analog positioners. Seventh question is, what is a smart valve? A smart valve is a valve, that is equipped with sensors and communication capabilities to provide information about the valve's performance and condition. Eighth question is, what is a cavitation? Cavitation is the formation of vapor bubbles in a liquid due to a decrease in pressure. Cavitation can cause damage to the valve and surrounding piping, as well as reduce control accuracy. Now, let's learn, what is flashing? Flashing is the sudden vaporization of a liquid when it passes through a control valve. Flashing can cause erosion and damage to the valve and surrounding piping. Tenth question is, what is noise in control valve? Noise in control valves is caused by the turbulent flow of fluid through the valve. Noise can be reduced by using appropriate valve sizing, trim design, and noise reducing materials. Eleventh and most important question is, what is the actuator in control valve? Actuator is the device which drive the valve stem. There are two types of actuators. First type is pneumatic actuator. And second type is electrical actuator. Twelfth question is, what is the difference between a pneumatic and electric actuator? 
First difference is, pneumatic actuator uses compressed air to drive the valve. On the other side, an electric actuator uses an electric motor to drive the valve. Secondly, pneumatic actuators are typically faster and more reliable. On the other side, electric actuators offers more precise control. Thirteenth question is, what is the use of single-seated valve and double-seated valve? The single-seated valve is used on smaller sizes, and in valve of larger sizes, where an absolute shutoff is required. Double-seated valves is generally used on bigger size valves and high-pressure systems. Fourteenth question is, how do you select the correct size of control valve for a system? The correct size of control valve is selected based on the required flow rate, pressure drop, and process fluid properties. In addition to this, the valve sizing calculation should take into account the maximum and minimum flow rates and the rangeability required. Now the next question is, what is the importance of valve maintenance? Regular valve maintenance is important to ensure the valve operates properly and to prevent problems such as leakage, wear and tear, and corrosion. In addition to this, proper maintenance can also extend the lifespan of the valve and reduce the likelihood of costly repairs or replacements. Another question is, what are the factors to consider when selecting a control valve for a specific application? When selecting a control valve for a specific application, factors to consider include following. First factor which need to be considered is the process fluid properties. Second factor which need to be considered is the required flow rate and pressure drop. Third important factor is, the rangeability required. Fourth important factor is, the valve's material of construction. Fifth factor is, the type of actuator required. Sixth factor is, any special requirements such as low noise or cavitation resistance. Last but not the least, it is also important to consider the manufacturer's specifications and any applicable industry standards. Another important question is, what are the advantages of a globe valve? Globe valves offer good control accuracy, high rangeability, and tight shutoff. Next question is, what are the advantages of a ball valve? Ball valve offers fast acting control, low torque requirements, and low pressure drop. Nineteenth question is, what are the advantages of a butterfly valve? Butterfly valves offer low cost, low weight, and low head loss. Twenty number question is, what is the difference between a linear and rotary actuator? First of all, a linear actuator is the device, which moves the valve plug in a straight line. On the other side, a rotary actuator rotates the valve plug. Secondly, linear actuator is generally used in globe valves. On the other side, rotary actuator is typically used in ball and butterfly valves. Second last and one of the important question is, what is a fail-safe control valve? A fail-safe control valve is a valve that is designed to automatically return to a safe position such as fully open or fully closed in the event of a power failure or other malfunction. Last question is, what is valve position indication? Valve position indication is the ability to visually or electronically determine the position of a valve, which is important for monitoring and troubleshooting. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this interview questions and answers. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends if you think our content is informative for you and others.